Hi, I'm Vicki Hoth, Education Coordinator for Handy Quilter. I'm doing this series to present the new features of the HQ Pro Stitcher being released June 2013. The feature I'd like to show now is how to offset a design. So let's first start bringing in the design. We'll go to Open, and I'm going to choose the clamshell with an arc. Now I want to create an area, and I'm going to press two corner and just type in 21 for the width and 30 for the height. Go ahead and refresh that and you can see maybe let's make our height a little smaller. Let's make it maybe a 20 height. So see how easy you can change the height of a design as you're creating it, or of the area? Now I want to go to repeat, and in, you'll see some new features, some new buttons. There's main and wrapping. Right now everything is grayed out, and so I, if I press, that's with the wrapping. If I press the main, now I have ability to use these features. I'm going to fit. And it fit within the area, but it left a little blank spot there. So I'm going to stretch the width, stretch the height to make sure everything fits within the area that I want to quilt on. But these designs are stacked on top of each other, and I want them offset. So the second and the fourth and the sixth row, I want them all offset. So I'm going to go to wrap or wrapping and I'm going to do the rows, which this is the rows, and if I were doing columns it would apply over here, but I'm doing rows. And I want to offset at 50% or half of the design. So this second row will offset halfway. So I press the half and it offset it. What happened is it cut this off over here, but it wrapped it around and attached it over here. Let's refresh that so you can see that a little bit bigger. See how that clip that off there and reset or reattach it over here. It just wraps it right around to the other side. Now if I want to I can use these arrow buttons and do a, a, a different Just a little bit more, see as you wrap that, or I can go the other direction. So it's kind of a choice that you get to make as to which, you know, where you'd like that to be. Now, if I chose, I'm going to reset this, and if I chose to do the column, and I did a half, so that, with this design, it doesn't work so well with the column. We'll reset that. It works really well with the row. Now if I were to bring in, let's close that design, if I were to bring in, in blocks, and bring in the circle, this is one that will. And let's resize the circle to um, lock aspect, and let's resize it to three inches. Then go to repeat, main, and let's fit. Okay, so we're going to do a little stretch and a stretch. So now, if I were to take this design the way it is and go to the wrapping and offset at 50% or whatever amount that I want, see what you can do to some designs and make them look different. Now, you know that this is going to have a crop or a jump to go to the next row, to the next row, and it's just an option you can choose if this is what you want, and maybe in a small area you're doing this and you want all these circles, so this is kind of, I could say, oh, I've got pebbles, and but they're not going to join together, but you could do this in a small area and make those circles really small. So that's the way the column works. Now if I want to do the window, let's choose a different design. Let's close this and open, and I want to go to Continuous Line and Baptist Fan. I'm going to resize my Baptist Fan 
to four inches in the width. Now I'm going to repeat in main and I want to fit this within this area. Okay, we have to work on some things first. First we have to bring those designs together. The points need to join, so I'm going to press the point to point. It brought them together. I want to stretch it and make it fit, but maybe I, want to, I don't want it to look distorted, so maybe what I'm going to want to do is add some repeats. And I want it to be bigger, actually, than my area. You can see the, uh, the purple area. I want it bigger than the area. And I'm going to add one more to just make sure it's bigger. Then I'm going to add a repeat. And now you can see that it's bigger there as well. Now I'm going to wrap. And I like my start point to maybe be right along the edge of my area. So I'm going to wrap it and shift that start point. And you notice how whatever it crops off over here, it adds over here. So I'm moving that over so that that start point is on that area. And then maybe I want this to be moved down a little bit, so I'm going to move the window. We're working with the window now. You notice I've changed my plus or my arrows to work with the window. The same thing, I'm going to bring that down so that it's just a little right there. Now I've got some jumps. You can see those jumps, it's going to tie off. Well, if I want that to be closed along there, I could actually just press the closed and it will do a, a stitching line between each jump to the next start point as it jumps there. Now, this is way too big, so what would I do? I've got it positioned like I like it. What would I do to make to get rid of all this outside area? Well, the best thing to do is to go to crop. I want to get rid of all of the everything on the outside and save the inside. So when I and I also want to have it closed. There. Now, it will stitch the row across and actually the first row is probably this little parts here, so it fills in that. So I don't have any gaps up there. It will stitch the first row and jump over and stitch along the second row and move itself down the quilt. And then you can quilt your whole quilt and not have those gaps that it leaves with the um, Baptist fan or some other designs. I hope you enjoy using this. Play with it and try different designs and have a good time.